Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to the channel and you can also as well tap the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when there's a new video from Molly's Farm. So today I'm doing a video which has been requested by you guys fairly frequently and is how to drive the new John Deere 6155R on the farm. I previously did a how to drive a tractor video on the John Deere 6930, uh, so this is how to do it with the 155 which, like I say, has been requested. So here she is, the John Deere 6155R. So it's a 2017 model, this one, and they're still making them pretty much exactly the same as this in 2020. Uh, so it's a, a modern, up-to-date tractor. And what's very different about the 155 over the uh, previous 6930 we had is that the 155 has an AdBlue system. So what that means is it has uh, like an exhaust fluid uh, which reduces the tractor's emissions. And it also means that there's less pressure on the, the tractor's EGR system, which is an exhaust gas recirculation system from the previous generation of John Deere's and, and basically what it means is that this tractor can run um, much better now but because of the AdBlue and the engine's not being restricted so that's a good thing that's a plus um, of the new tractors in a, an environmental way and also as well talking from a performance perspective so just on the back we've got a set of Michelin multi-bib tires we didn't have Michelin's on the previous tractor uh, there's 650s on the back and then there's 600s on the front and we've also as well got the front loader fitted on this 155 something we didn't have on the previous tractor the, the 6930 and you can see we've got the bonnet guard as well which I quite like we've got the front the front linkage which needs its PTO fitting and it could also do as well when we do get a front PTO with some hydraulic spools in here so that I can operate the topper uh, the machio on the front and then just moving around to the side there's the AdBlue system um, just that that's the actual exhaust gas uh, treatment system if you'd like to call it and that's where that goes on you've also got the decoupler there so that's how you take the uh, disc or disconnect the front loader and you can take off the hydraulics there and then going around to the back so fairly similar in terms of the, the rear linkage and what's going on around the back but one thing you will notice which is very different on this tractor is the cab it's a lot bigger and it's a lot more spacious and it's something which I think is really really nice because spending a day in here is absolutely sublime so if i just close the cab door we've got these one-piece cab doors now and on the 6930 there was like a, a post here um it depends which one you like uh, i must say I, I really do like the panoramic doors now so to drive these new tractors uh, it's actually relatively simple if you think about a lot of specialist equipment nowadays uh, specialist mach machines such as boats and uh, you know planes airplanes and uh, you know some of these big trucks nowadays lorries um, you know things are becoming a lot more specialist a lot more advanced and they can be quite daunting to begin with that's a, that's until uh, you learn how they operate and they learn how they work so I'll just give you guys a little bit of a brief overview about how this tractor roughly works so just like the previous 6930 you've just got a shuttle down here you can use to go forwards and backwards so I shouldn't really be doing this when it's off but that's how you engage your forwards and backwards and you can take it out of park so that's your direction control and then just on the right hand side here this is your gearbox so this is how you control the speed of the tractor so I'll just turn the ignition on so you, you turn the ignition on and you've just got this warning which uh, comes up on the screen which is just to, to make you aware that you're responsible with the tractor it's your responsibility so if you just press that uh, that then takes us to our home screen so on the home screen it gives you our hydraulic uh, spool pressures and I can go into a lot more detail with this it, it just gives us our hours down here so how many hours the tractor's done and then you've got your transmission down there which is your forward and reverse speeds that's pretty much um, all you really need to know just to begin with for a lot of you guys. Um, so if I just turn the tractor on, so we'll just start the engine up there and I've got my Bluetooth connection off. Okay, so now, we're, now the tractor's on and you can just see it's lit up. So if I want to go forwards, we first need to lift up the front loader, which we've got on. So if I just pull the joystick there, you can see the front loader's just coming up and it's got relatively quick hydraulics on this tractor it's got the 150 litre a minute pump so just going back down you can see this is our con this is our gearbox control so we've got two ranges uh, a high range which is the hair and then we've also as well got a low range which is where the snail is so just around the yard here i'm just going to be going around in the snail mode so if i just pop it into neutral you can see we've got some lights on the screen there so i can set on the screen and it, i can also set on this computer here roughly how quick I want to go around the yard. So I'm going to set it to five miles per hour and then on the high range I'm going to set it to 
uh, let's just say we'll leave it on 10 miles per hour there. So just around the yard, I'm gonna be in the first range. And if I just go forwards, it will go forward. And we've just got our pedals down here. So we've got the clutch there, which on an auto power you don't need to use, um, although dad uses it sometimes. And you've got the brake there, the brake pedal, and then you've got your throttle. So that's your acceleration. That's the one we need to use. So on an auto power tractor, you can just drive it off that pedal. I put my foot on the pedal, we go forwards. If I just put the shuttle into reverse, we go into reverse because it's infinitely variable. You don't need to clutch. If I then go back into forwards, and if I increase my speed with the pedal on the floor, the tractor will speed up. If I take my foot off the pedal, like so, the tractor will come to a standstill. I'm not using the clutch, I'm not using the brakes or anything like that. That's just how the IVT works, the infinitely variable transmission. And so that's pretty much it in terms of how to operate the tractor uh, going forwards and backwards. And then, I've, like I say, I've got the control of the loader on the joystick here. So that's how you can load bales, that's how you can stack, uh, stack things around the yard or uh, you know, load a lorry. Um, you can use your, your joystick to operate the loader. So if I just go into neutral, and then if I go into park there just with the shuttle, the tractor then comes to a standstill and we're in park. So the tractor's got its handbrake on. It really is as simple as that. I haven't used, had to use the foot brakes or anything like that at all. So then just coming round to the command arm, these uh, buttons you can see here, these are for operating the hydraulics. So if I need to operate uh, anything on the back, such as a trailer, when I was tipping the trailer the, other, trailer the other day, I can assign a hydraulic pipe for certain jobs on the trailer, and then I can just control them with the triggers there. Uh, so other other um, things which I've also got on here is the auto steer system. So basically, if I just want to, if I want the tractor to drive itself, I can set it up on the GPS, and then I can press this steering button here, which operates the GPS steering. So the tractor will take over, and it will drive up the rows, it will drive up the lines in the field perfectly straight. And then I've also got these iTech controls here, so if I want to assign the tractor to do different tasks on the numbers, I can essentially get the tractor to pick up the implement, turn off the power takeoff shaft, lower its revs, I can program it to do whatever I need it to do. So that's what the one to four is for. And then just below that, we've got four wheel drive and auto four wheel drive. Auto four wheel drive, the tractor will detect or it will pick up on when four-wheel drive is necessary and then it will do it itself. So this is exactly the same with auto diff lock there. If I want the tractor to automatically kick in with its diff lock, it will just do it on its own, um, which is a, a nice feature. That's our throttle here, which uh, you can use to rev up the tractor and, you can, and it will hold its revs with the throttle. Um, so something quite handy if you're just operating a PTO, if you're, you're doing some muck spreading or something and you want to maintain a constant rev speed, um, I can just reduce that down there. And then I've just got the PTO switch there. And then once we get the front PTO installed, there'll be another switch like this for the front power takeoff shaft. The power takeoff shaft is what you need to uh, power your implements. Um, so that's very important, that PTO. And then that's just another hydraulic spool valve there. This is our infotainment system. So I've got volume plus and minus and I can mute the music system and I can also skip songs and I can go into my next song. A nice little uh, array here of, of buttons which are just at hand for when you're just going down the road. And then I've got the hazard lights which are on and off and also my lights. So uh, setting up your lights at night you can just press it to a, a preset lighting lighting system on, your track, on the computer. So if I just go into lights you can see we can set a certain pattern of lights. So you can have uh, lots of different lights on you can have whatever, whichever lights you want on and then you can program it into whatever function you need on the lights there uh, and then we've just got the linkage control so this is how I control the rear link arms so you'll just see them coming up and then I can just put them down using the scroller there and I can also as well set my height here so if I press set it will then realize it so it will say rear, rear hitch depth set so it then knows that's the height I need to go down say if you're cultivating or if you're mowing so quite a nice quite a nice handy function there and I think it's been very nicely laid out um, I'm really really happy with this tractor as I'm sure a lot of you guys know because I don't stop talking about it um, something else which I thought was quite handy is that we've got the Bluetooth in here so when I connect my phone to it I can speak to someone on the phone on a hands-free and the tractor has its own microphone and it detects or picks up the audio which is quite handy and then this is the radio here which is just currently on mute uh, but you control the radio through the audio system in here, so it's got a, an entertainment system. Uh, so at the moment you can just see it's on heart radio station there, so if I just go onto Bluetooth I can connect my phone and play my songs through that way, or you've also got USB lead, an auxiliary lead, or you can also do the old school CD. Uh, it's completely up to you. Uh, many different ways to play music and to connect, get connected to your phone. Um, but no, uh, that's just some linkage controls there, so your linkage up and down, the linkage speed you need 
it to go up and down with. Um, yeah, very nicely laid out, very nicely done. These are some more controls here for if you've got uh, any seed boxes, control boxes, uh, you can just plug them in there. I do put the Tanko wrapper in one of these. The, I think the Tanko wrapper's control box just goes into that one. And yeah, it needs a good clean, it's dusty. Something else I do quite like is we've just got this little cubby hole here which where I can put some, put some stuff in there, maybe some sandwiches for the day. And then just up here, we've got another storage box up here. So if I could put, I could probably put, you know, a couple more sandwiches up there or biscuits or anything I'd like to put up there. Another thing I do do is I put my water bottle in the drinks holder just over there, which is quite nice for the day. And I've also got another one actually down there, which has got some nuts and bolts in it at the moment. Um, but no, very nicely laid out. Okay, so I'm just uh, just coming up the side of the field here now, and hopefully you can see we're just in the turtle mode, which is the lower range. So if I just want to increase my speed, I can go to the high range, and then the tractor will just get up to speed. So I've only got it set at the moment at 10, uh, 10 miles per hour, which is plenty fast around these fields here. Oh, and I'm just, I'll just show you what the suspension system's like. So I've just gone over quite a bumpy rut there and just gone onto this tram line. And it's very difficult to pick it up on camera for you guys, but it, there really is a big difference in this and the previous generation. It's, like, it's more like riding on a cloud, I'd say, this tractor. I'll just speed up now to about 14 miles an hour. And even at 14 miles an hour, uh, going over these tram lines, it's, it's really easy, to be honest, for this, this machine handles very well and with the front suspension it takes a lot of the strain out of the front loader when you've got it in the air um, it's surprising just how how good that uh, front suspension is and and what a difference it really does make um, so yeah like I say I really hope I've been able to convey to you guys just how it operates and I hope that if you were to just arrive on the farm tomorrow and get in the tractor you would hopefully be able to drive the tractor um, <laughs> but yeah once you turn it on you've just got the shuttle on the left uh, you, your foot control, which is the throttle, and you've just got your high and high and low range. I mean, that's one of the things I really like about John Deere's is they're relatively simple. Even the most complicated models are still simple. If, you know, anyone can get in and drive this tractor, really. It's just all about your auto power gear stick here and the shuttle, and that's literally it. And then it's just like an automatic car. You can just drive it off the throttle there. And uh, it's, it's something which is, you know, you don't have to be scared of. So there we go guys, I hope today I've been able to show you how the John Deere 6155R drives. I can go a lot more in depth with this tractor and how it operates, but hopefully it's just been able to give you an insight as to how it operates. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, keep an eye out for the upcoming videos which will be coming out this week. Uh, we've got some trips planned and there's also lots more mowing to do on the farm which is going to be quite fun. Uh, so thank you very much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next one.